So for this video, rather than talk about how I paint my Bretonians, I want to talk about where I got them and how. Um, I started my collection right when COVID got bad, right when out of production model prices really started to skyrocket. But I was able to get most of my models for less than the market value, and I think I can help you get deals as well. Um, before we get into that, we should probably talk about the launch of the Old World. As you all probably already know, um, what is probably in February, we're expecting the old Bretonia models, at least a lot of them, to come back into production, which will be absolutely amazing. But with that being the case, if I was starting my Bretonian army right now, I would not be looking to buy the 6th edition Knights, or the Minute Arms, or the Peasant Bowmen, or the Trebuchet, or anything else I expect to come back into production because I think you're going to find them a lot cheaper um, going through GW because the prices right now, even when we know production's coming, they're still pretty insane. What I would be looking for are the 5th edition knights, and if you don't like them, I'd at least try to get them for their heads so you can kit bash them. 5th edition archers, the old characters out of the blisters, the old fade enchantresses. Definitely try to find Wu and Leoncore on a hip oak because that model doesn't come in production, which I doubt the price on that one's really going to skyrocket. So models like that are the one you want to target. And at the end of this video, I will go into detail about which models I think you should target. Um, but right now, let's get into where I found my deals. To the surprise of no one, the first website I want to talk about is eBay. However, my advice for eBay is to not use eBay unless you absolutely have to. The days of consistently finding value on eBay are long gone. It's just too competitive. Uh, there's too many people fighting over the miniatures that are posted here. Plus, if you live in the States like I do, you're going to find most of these listings from the UK. And shipping from the UK to the United States is outrageous right now. It almost feels like we're still being punished for the Revolutionary War. So maybe not the place you find the best deals. However, it is going to be your biggest market and it has great search capabilities. As you start looking for the more rare models like Lou and Leoncore or Rupants or Tristan and Jules, um, eBay is probably where you're going to be forced to go without any alternative unless you get extremely lucky. Also, try to be careful with people trying to sell recasts and passing them off as originals. You can usually tell because the color of the plastic is different, but not always. When you do use eBay, check out sites like fatfingers.com. You could use your search terms here, and it's going to help find common misspellings of the terms you search for. Um, if you get lucky, someone will drastically mess up their listing, and you can bid on them without uh, as much competition as you would if they spelled it right. All right, next we have Troll Trader, which is another pretty popular marketplace you probably already heard of. Um, I have found some good deals on here, mostly looking at incomplete models, models without their horses. Um, you can sometimes find some pretty rare knights that way. But honestly, it's been a while since I found a good deal here. Um, but what I will say for the Troll Trader is they always have a pretty good marketplace open. There's always quite a bit of miniatures. Um, sometimes they're painted pretty decently, sometimes they're not. Occasionally you can find full boxes, but you're not going to get a good deal here unless you're really lucky. For the most part, everything's around market value. Um, you can find some really good older models. You see those bombards there. Those are those are really old Bretonian models. Um, so cool website, something to check out, but probably not going to get the best deals here. Um, but if you're trying to source a Bretonian army and get some of these out of production models that aren't coming back for the old world, uh, this is a good place to keep an eye on. However, they are located in the UK, so like eBay before you, the shipping prices can be pretty outrageous if you're trying to put together an army in the States or Canada. So I wanted to share a website for those of us on this side of the pond. Mindtaker.org is a used miniature shop located in the Pacific Northwest. Um, their prices are great. They usually have a pretty good variety. They get new stuff in every week. Right now, they don't have a lot of Bretonians. That's why I'm taking you to the Empire page. But you can see they have a lot of figures here. And unlike the Troll Trader and eBay, their prices are usually pretty fair for the used miniatures. Um, it's definitely worth getting on their email list as things go in. The Bretonian stuff doesn't last very long. But if you stay on top of your game, you can find something really nice. Number two on my list is the Swap Shop at DocaDocca.com. If you've never been to Daka Daka before, it's basically a place where people who are fanatical about 40k go to tell other people who are fanatical about 40k about how much they hate 40k. Um, it's kind of a rough internet community. 
However, they do have a swap shop that is quite good. It's filled with a lot of people who are very passionate about miniatures. They often are selling things that are out of production, some very old and very rare models, and usually the prices are pretty fair. Um, personally, I've been able to find a lot of the really old Bretonian models here. Uh, the original Siege Tower kit for real cheap. Um, the Mighty Fortress, I actually landed off of Daka Daka. Um, their swap shop's a really cool place with a lot of cool people. It's worth keeping an eye on. It is mostly 40k, but you're going to see people sell things for all kinds of miniature games, including Warhammer Fantasy. And number one on my list is, of course, the mini swap subreddit on Reddit. Here you'll find mostly other gamers, other tabletop players and painters who are either swapping their miniatures for other ones or selling them for cash and PayPal. 40k does dominate here, but you're going to find plenty of listings, Warhammer Fantasy, and other systems as well. Competition is fierce, um, so you're going to want to sort by new, but more than that, you're probably going to want to create your own post. If you create a post and say you have cash for Bretonians and have people come to you, you're not going to have to compete. Everyone's going to come to you and you can decide what's fair or not. That might be your best bet. The majority of my collection came when I made a post like that. I ended up talking with a guy who lived across the state from me. He was selling his Bretonians, didn't have time for them, but he wanted them to go to a person who would appreciate them. So I ended up driving across the state, meeting him halfway, and he sold me damn near 100 nights for much less than market value. You probably won't get that lucky, but there are plenty of deals to be had here if you're willing to put in the work. As promised, here's a list of the models I would consider buying right now if I was starting my collection. Basically, I would hold off on buying anything that's going to come back into production, as even with GW's insane prices, it's going to be cheaper to buy them new than it will be used, at least at current market prices. The safest bet is for classic models that are being replaced by the new ones GW is making, and characters who aren't alive for the old world. So things like Repants, or the older Paladin on Pegasus, or the Battle Standard Bear that's being replaced. The old Fane Chantress and the old Damsel model, especially the one on foot, are pretty safe bet to not come back, as well as the 5th edition Knights, 5th edition Bowmen, even the old, old Men at Arms, you want to give that a go. I would highly recommend buying the newest Lewin Leoncore model now. It's a beautiful model. I don't think it's coming back for the old world. I think they'll make a new model for the different king because the old one has Lewin's uh, heraldry on it. But you never know of GW. What I do know is if I am right and that model doesn't come back, it's going to be very, very expensive to get it in another year. And it's already a very expensive model to get your hands on. I think the old Duke models are fantastic. I really have no idea if they'll come back or not. Obviously, Bohemian Beast Slayer isn't around for the old world, but I'm able to try to make it a generic Duke. So that's kind of a gamble. The Green Knight is an expensive model, but it is a classic. It is one of GW's best models. I highly doubt it won't be back for the old world, so you might be able to get it cheaper then. And finally, for the unknown, I put the Yeoman. They're very expensive models right now. They're really hard to find, even on eBay. Um, they're not worth much of anything on the tabletop. I never run them. I don't know a lot of people that do. I have no idea if they have a place in the old world. So I didn't know where to put them. So buy at your own risk. But hey, this is just my best guess. If you know a great place to get old miniatures that I didn't mention, go ahead and leave it in the comments to help other people. Plus, I'd love to see everyone else speculate on what's coming back and what isn't for the old world. I hope that helps some, and good luck on your search. Finding some of these models is almost like your own personal rail quest.